how's it going guys? My name is Mechanic Bear and welcome back to Fortnite. This video is going to be the second video in the Beginner to Builder series and this video is going to focus on fundamental ramp rushing as well as editing. Now that's all out of the way you guys, let's get started with the video. Let's start with edits. If you already know how to edit, there'll be an annotation on the screen that will take you to the ramp rushing section of the video. Other than that, let's get started. Editing can be a bit confusing at first, but once you get it down, you can carry it across to any building piece pretty easily. Essentially, once you open edit mode, there'll be a grid. Hovering your crosshairs over a square and hitting your shoot button makes it go grey. And once you confirm the edit, it'll just remove it from the building piece. If you want to remove multiple squares, just hold down your shoot button and drag the crosshairs along the squares you want to remove. Also keep in mind that if the remaining squares go red, the edit is invalid and won't work. The four building pieces in Fortnite are floor, wall, stair and pyramid. Each edit differently, although floor and pyramid are very similar. When editing walls, the edit you're probably going to use the most is the edit where you get rid of these three pieces in an L shape. This can be done in any corner of a wall and is also very useful for getting out of one by ones. You might find it easier to edit out a two by two shape in a wall, but this can only be done in the bottom corners. Editing out a one by two shape in a wall allows you to make doors and these can be placed in different spots on a wall. Editing out the top two rows of a wall also allows you to make a guide rail type thing which you can jump and shoot over. Next up, I'm going to teach you how to edit floors, because it's very simple and it will be very easy to carry over to pyramids. Essentially, if you get rid of one corner of the floor, it turns like this and pretty much gets rid of the corner altogether. This also works with two corners, it creates like a half floor type thing. You can also do this with three corners, and you can even edit diagonally. Pyramids are very similar to this, except when you edit a corner, instead of going away, it actually goes upwards. You can edit out one corner of a pyramid, Editing out two turns into a stair type thing, but keep in mind if you edit out three corners and don't support a pyramid with the wall, it will actually break upon confirming the edit. Stairs are probably the hardest thing to edit, but it's pretty easy if you keep this one concept in mind. First of all, you want to work out whether you want a half stair or a full stair like you would see normally. If you want a half stair, hold your crosshairs down in the corner that you want the base of the stairs to be and drag it in the direction you want the stairs to go up in. And if you're doing full stairs, the same applies, except you have to use the tabs in between the corners. Also keep in mind you can drag between the two tabs, but personally, when I was learning how to edit stairs, I found it easier to just drag the whole way across the stairs. Editing is useful for many things, including editing out of boxes, editing down one by one towers, and editing a hole in a wall to enable you to shoot through. Now that we've covered the editing side of this video, let's get down to some fundamental ramp rushes. The first and most obvious ramp rush is a single ramp rush. All you have to do is run in a straight line and hold down the button that you use to place stairs. The second ramp rush is the double ramp rush, which is the same as the single ramp rush, except your staircase is two stairs wide. It may take a bit of time just to slow down and practice it and speed up a little bit, but in no time at all, this ramp rush will be super easy. The third and final ramp rush in this video is the ramp wall strategy. This is similar to the single ramp strategy, except as you can see here, all of your ramps are reinforced by walls. The key to this strategy is to make sure you're standing on top of a stair before you place a wall behind it. Otherwise, as you can see here, you'll just end up blocking yourself and you won't be able to run any further. Similar to the double ramp strategy, this may take a bit of time to slow down and rework, but in no time at all, you'll have this ramp rush mastered. With that being said, you guys, I'm going to end up this video here. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you're enjoying the Beginners Builder series. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, Turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload a new video and I'll see you guys in the next video.